a city by the sea, and beyond the city, high mountains. Can you guess where we are? We are coming into a harbor city of Norway. The name of the city is Bergen. In the harbor are ships that bring trade from many lands. Fishing boats, too, are in the harbor, close to the busy docks. Now we are on a nearby hill looking down at the harbor and town. Let's find this town of Bergen on a map of the globe. First, in Europe, we find Norway. Here is Bergen, on the western coast. It is a northern city. If we draw the line of latitude that Bergen is on, the line passes through northern Canada, Alaska, Siberia, northern Russia, and Sweden. These are northern lands of high latitudes. In many of these lands, as in Alaska, there are vast mountain ranges covered with snow and glaciers. In such lands, living is difficult. There are not many settlements. But in some northern lands, such as southern Alaska and Norway, warm ocean currents help make a warmer climate. To find out more about farmers in Norway, let's go about 70 miles from Bergen to a farm located here. We make the trip by water on a boat, going up the fjord. The fjord is a deep inlet of the sea. When we see the word fjord, this is what we might think of. Along the fjord are farmlands and farmhouses. There is not much level land, so the farms are small. This farm belongs to the Erickson family. In the garden, Mrs. Erickson is pulling turnips. She will soon be making supper for her family. The Erickson farmhouse overlooks the fields where Mr. Erickson and his son are putting up hay to dry. Mr. Erickson's oldest boy is named Sven. He is a good worker. Mr. Erickson, too, works hard, especially during the summer months. He and Sven must get all the hay hung on the fence, for it would spoil if left on the damp ground. After it dries in the sun, it will be used for cattle feed in the winter. What other crops do they grow? Grains, such as oats, grow well in a moist climate, and they ripen before the short summer is over. Are you wondering if they are cut on this farm? We'll have to look at the highest slopes for the cattle. Now we're up in the high pasture. The two children watching the cow are the youngest children of the Erickson family, Sonia and Carl. They spend their summer vacation here, high above the farm and the fjord. The mountain pasture where the cattle graze in summer is called a satyr. This is another Norwegian word we read in books about Norway. Carl and Sonia are part of a group of neighbors who stay here. The woman in charge of the satyr sees that the milk is sent into the village each day. And this is the way the cans of milk are sent down. After the day's work, the children enjoy their evening meal of fresh milk, cheese, and bread. And now, although it is almost eight o'clock in the evening, it is still light. In this latitude in summer, the sun does not set until almost 10 o'clock. And north of the Arctic Circle in Norway, the sun is still in the sky at midnight. This is why Norway is called land of the midnight sun. But these long days occur only during the brief summer. 
What about winter? It is a cloudy winter day in Bergen. Fishing boats are at the dock. One of the fishing boats is leaving the harbor. If we follow it, we'll see one of the important winter activities, fishing. This is what many men of Norway do during the winter, especially during February and March. When enough fish have been caught, the boats return to Bergen Harbor. Do you recognize the young fisherman in the cap and sweater? It's Sven Eriksson. In winter, when there isn't much farm work, Sven works as a fisherman, as many other Norwegian men do. With his earnings, Sven sometimes goes shopping along the streets of Bergen. There's a store that looks interesting. Sven has found something he has used many times, skis. Now he's wondering if Carl and Sonia are skiing. Yes, back home, Sonia and Carl are putting on their skis. Like many children of Norway, they use skis traveling to and from school. Now school is out. Off they go for home. Doesn't that look like fun? Here they come, right into their own backyard. Most Norwegian children know how to ski. It's one way of getting from place to place in winter. It's also the national sport of Norway. It will feel good to get into the warm house. The children are wondering if their father is through with his work for the day. On the mountain slope near the farm are trees that Mr. Erickson cuts for firewood during the winter. This is the last tree for today. Time now to think about going home. From the mountain slope, he can see the farm below him. It isn't long before the Ericsons are all together for the evening meal. Can you guess what they might be eating? There are fish from the sea and potatoes and other vegetables from their garden. And for Sonia and Carl, there's always plenty of fresh milk. Winter evenings are long, but after supper there are things to do. While Mr. Erickson reads and Sonia and Carl write a letter, Mother is busily knitting. This is going to be a warm sweater for Carl. Maybe it will look something like the one Sonia is wearing. Now the letter is almost finished. They are writing their brother Sven in Bergen. They tell him they hope the fishing has been good and that they are looking forward to summer when they will all be together again on the farm. Do you remember where the Ericsson farm is in Norway? Remember some of the many things we learned about this northern land? This word, for instance. Or this word. We learned that summers in a northern land are short. Does this affect the kind of crops people grow in Norway? or in Alaska, or in other northern lands. Remember what Sven and other men do in winter when they are not farming? What are some of the things Sonia and Carl did? There are many more things to find out about life in northern lands, in a land such as Norway.